Bonjour à tous and welcome to Learn French with Vincent and this is Unité 10, leçon I. And in this lesson we'll see le gérondif together. So we've been introducing that a little bit uh, in the previous lesson in which we saw le participe présent, but then this video will be only for le gérondif. Okay, so I hope after that everything will be clear and so we can start. So As usual, uh, this video will be divided in two parts. The first one will be l'emploi, so when do we use it? And the second part would be la formation, how do we make this gérondif form? Okay, so let's start now with l'emploi. Okay, and so le gérondif, uh, normally if you want to make or to construct this gérondif, you will first have to use la préposition en, and after that you will have to add your participe présent form. Okay, so this gérondif will uh, express two actions that will take place at the same time, so action simultanée. All right, so the example is quite simple here. Il marche, okay, en écoutant de la musique. So you can see that in this sentence here, we've got first il marche, so he is walking, marcher is to walk, en écoutant, so here we've got this preposition as we saw here, that's the first part of your gérondif, and the second part here is the participe présent, écouter, so the verb écouter is to listen, and this is the participe présent form de la musique, so in that case you just want to express that he's walking and at the same time he's listening to music, okay, so il marche en écoutant de la musique, all right, So let's see now how do we make this gérondif. So remember, as we saw previously, first you will have to use la préposition en, then you will have to use le participe présent, and you will get a beautiful gérondif. Remember the way to make this uh, participe présent form. Normally you will have to master the present tense, And uh, normally if you take, well, if we, we take the example of uh, parler, parler is to speak or to talk, okay, we'll get nous parlons at the present tense of, so the form should be at the nous person. And so you will actually spot here the ending, ONS, okay, and the idea is to take it away, so you get parle, and after that you will add a n t and you will get parlant, okay, this will be this participe présent form that you will have to add after your preposition en. Okay? Second group, finir, to finish, to end, nous finissons, okay? and it will be exactly the same way to proceed. So we spot this ONS, so the ending, we take it away and we get finis, and after that we just add this ANT ending and we'll get finissant. So this is the participe présent form. Third group, to take, prendre, nous prenons, present tense. Same thing here, we spot the ending, so O and S, we take it away, we get prun, and then participe présent will be prenant. All right, so remember, nous parlons, parle, parlant, nous finissons, finis, finissant, nous prenons, so prun, and then prenant. Okay, so it's quite easy to make. Of course, we've got exceptions, only three, and that's a good thing. The first one is être, to be, so it will give you étant, so this is the participe présent form. Avoir will give you ayant, avoir is to have, and then savoir, to know, will give you sachant. Okay, so only three exceptions, and it's It's a good thing in French because normally we've got uh, <laughs> more exceptions, so only, only three. Être, étant, avoir, ayant, savoir, sachant. Okay, so let's see now two examples. So I wanted to, I wanted to write them just to make it clear that, uh, to make it, make it sure that everything is clear, I will manage. Il mange et il regarde la télévision en, en, en même temps. Okay, so il mange... Manger is to eat, et il regarde, regarder is to watch, la télévision, en même temps, en même temps, the expression means at the same time. So in that case, in that sentence, it, it would be possible, of course, to, to write this sentence like that. Il mange et il regarde la télévision en même temps. But then, as we saw, and that's the 
whole idea of this video, we've got this Gérondi form possibility just to uh, avoid uh, well, repeating this or using this en même temps, okay, and just to make it well shorter. So in that case, what we could do is we could well keep the first part, of course, il mange, all right, and then instead of il regarde la télévision en même temps, well, this en même temps will go away because at the same time we don't need to repeat it because well that's the whole concept of the gerondif, and then we just need to transform. Il regarde, all right, so it will become regardant for the participe present form, and just before we'll put this preposition. So, il mange en regardant la télévision. Okay, so it's exactly the same thing, but then, of course, the sentence is much shorter. And then, the second example that we could have here, elle dessine et elle téléphone à son ami en même temps. Okay, so dessiner is to draw, téléphoner, well to phone, à son ami, at her friend, en même temps, at the same time. Okay, so exactly the same thing, we just want to make the sentence shorter and lighter, so we'll keep first, of course, elle dessine, so the first verb should be here, but then here we've got et elle téléphone, so we should modify this telephone and then put the participe present form. So the participe present form of telephone is telephonant. Okay. Before that, we put la preposition en and we continue the sentence à son ami. And that's it. Elle dessine en telephonant à son ami. All right. So I hope it was clear. More videos, youtube.com slash imagier and then the website www.imagier.net. Bye-bye.